Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City Four here, bringing you guys more best class setups today. I'll be bringing you guys the MP11 best class setup for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, this weapon, guys, a little bit of a back information about this weapon. It has been bringing me memories of my old school times, like on Modern Warfare Three and Black Ops Two. If you guys might want to go back into my old videos to see those gameplays, because it was all about the MP7, Scorpion Evil, P90, uh, UMP, you know, all those SMGs of the old school times. This gun kind of reminds me of them. So um, I, I, I kind of customized this gun into a certain way that it will remind what? me of those old school days, like uh, how I used to do it and how I used to be successful. That's what I that's what brought me this idea on this best class setup, you know, because I used to be good with all the SMGs, including the MP7 of, of Black Ops 2. I kind of wanted to do the same thing. So this is what I come up with now. What I suggest, guys, is to keep it small. Keep it on small maps. Keep it on tight corridors. Do not go into open fields because on long range, you know, this gun freaking it sucks. You're going to have to tap that shooting button so many times that, you know, you know what? You should just move on to the, to the next closest enemy because it's going to take you a while to take down that enemy. So uh, I suggest to keep it from medium range to short range. Mostly from short range, though. You should be able to get some medium range kills by uh, having that attachment of the foregrip. If you don't have the foregrip, your medium range kills will be gone. This gun does have high ass recoil when you don't add the foregrip. So add the foregrip on the attachment. It's a must if you, you guys want to get some medium range attacks. If you guys don't want to, you want to keep it all small range, then take it away and add another perk or add something else that you would like. Like an exo launcher since you don't see an exo launcher here in the best class setup. So, um, so yeah, let's talk let's talk about the best class setup already. Moving on to the gun, the MP11 is located in the SMG division. It's not doesn't take that long to unlock. I think it takes like till level 20 or so. Uh, the attachments, the first one we will talk about will be the suppressor. The suppressor will keep you guys stealthy. It is very important to have since if you want to sneak around, and that's what most of my SMGs consist of, sneak around. And um, if you guys want to get behind enemy lines. Add the suppressor, you'll be the most sneakiest guy out there. You'll be getting easy kills with like nothing. Uh, if there's an enemy right behind that other enemy that you killed, they will notice where the bullets came from. They will turn the opposite way, and you should be able to get an extra kill very easily. So, it is very important to have the suppressor if you guys want to have some stealthy ways on the battlefield. Moving on to the next attachment will be the foregrip. This one will help you guys out on adding more range into the weapon. I know it doesn't stay in the stats. But gameplay wise guys, while I'm playing the game, this gameplay wise, it does help you guys out on medium range. If you were to take off this foregrip attachment, you will not be allowed to get some kills on for medium range. The gun will be shooting all over the goddamn place, so add the foregrip, it is very important. Moving on to the next attachment, which will be the rapid fire. The rapid fire really makes up for all that damage that you lose from adding the suppressor, and yes, gameplay wise guys, the suppressor kind of loses up your damage. Like by half. I don't know how much by, but I know it does loses your damage. Like it just makes it weaker. I'm talking about gameplay wise. I'm not talking about stats. I'm talking about gameplay wise. You guys saw my last gameplay on the MP11. You should be able to see how the rapid fire really took over the the silencer. And you know it does. It did come out pretty good. So you guys missed out on the gameplay. Make sure you go like one video back and see the gameplay so you guys can see what I'm talking about gameplay wise and all that fun stuff. You know. It all happened on that gameplay, so keep in mind that gameplay so you guys can see how this best class setup works. So the rapid fire is is really important if you guys want to keep your damage high. And also you guys want to get some quick kills and move on to the next guy. It takes like around at least 12 bullets to 15 bullets per mag to actually kill an enemy if you guys actually aim towards the head. So keep it very accurate if you guys want to save up some bullets. Moving on to the next thing, the perks. Um, I usually use Blast Suppressor, Scavenger, and Low Profile. If you guys want to use something else, go ahead. But in my preference, I like to use Low Profile, Blast Suppressor, and Scavenger. And the Exo ability, I have Exo Overclock in order for me to move as fast as possible in Domination. I want to get to the B flag before anybody else. So I can like, cut off the route towards the flag. That's why I have the Exo Overclock. So I can move so fast before anybody goes to uh, some certain objective. The score streaks will be you UAV and the bombing run, you know, all the skills, all the kill streaks suck. But that's what I'm currently using, so I can get some kills, uh, disorient the enemies, and so they won't even know where we are. It's gonna really annoy them and blah blah, you know, you name it. 
This is the most annoying kill streaks you can call in the game. Bombing run, because that's going to make him shake all over the goddamn place. And then system hack, that freaking big ass X on your screen. And then UAV, this is going to help out your teammates all the goddamn time. And not only that, if you guys add the um, extra points attachment towards the kill streak, you should be able to have uh, the system hack a lot more faster than usual. So think about it, guys. This is a kind of a good combination for me and for the average player also. So that is it guys, and also you're going to need the wall cards, once you add some certain attachments, you should be able to get the wall cards pretty easily, so um, yeah, those wall cards are going to be unlocked right away. So that's it guys, if you guys like the best class setup, please let me know in the comment section, if you guys um, you know, got any comments on this class setup, let me know in the comment section, you know, you guys can ask me anything you want. So uh, that's it guys, if you guys like, yeah, okay, leave a like on the video, you guys also support the series of Quality Events mm -hmm. Warfare here on my channel, leave a like for that. So I'll see you guys later, and subscribe for more Quality Events Warfare videos.